So in here, there's one very important setting, and that's this, record and run settings. You come in here, and based on this, your script is going to either open up and run on any open browser, or it's going to open up to a specific browser. I recommend you almost never want to do this because it means your UFT is configured for one application and that doesn't make any sense. You pick this and you tell UFT which application to open and that's it. Don't even, there's, I don't understand the point of doing this. And the other settings are here for Windows applications. You can record and run on any Windows-based application, or you can record based on these options. So that's how you set your record and run settings. All right, let's see. We have the resources menu. In here, we can view our object repository. Give it a second to open, there it goes. And this shows us our object repository and all of the objects that we currently have in it we can go into our object repository manager. Let's check that out, guys. So this allows us to do different kinds of things like merging object repositories, editing them. Yeah, that's about it. Also, we can associate repositories. So if you come here, you'll get a menu. It comes up, you click the add button, pick the, the repository that you want to add, and now you can have multiple repositories associated to an action. You can also set up recovery scenarios here. So, what is a recovery scenario? Well, a recovery scenario is something that you need to happen whenever an error occurs, right? Let's say I am trying to log into qtptutorial.net and the application crashes and there's an error. So what do you want UFT to do in case of that? You want the browser to open up again and to go back to that page and redo those actions. Uh, personally, I have not used recovery scenarios too much. I don't see much use for them because I can handle all of my recovery issues with code. And most of the time, I would rather just let the code fail and then later on, I'd figure out the issue and resolve it with code and make it you know exit very gracefully so if you need a recovery scenario you know where it is but i don't know that there's too much use to them uh alm here you guys can deal with alm if you're connected to that and then in the tools option this guy is pretty important as well 